<laughs> you have no caste or duties. You are invisible, unattached, and formless. You are the witness of all things. So, we've discussed the person. So, unless the person was a reality, it is not possible to have a caste or then the duties of that caste. Then he goes on to describe what you really are. And he starts with, you are invisible. Yeah. Is that a big help? <laughs> you see? Yeah. For those of you who are new to Satsang, then if I'm invisible, then how do I find myself? You see? Because I'm looking for myself. And you are saying I'm invisible. So this must be a contradiction, isn't it? So who can tell us why this is not also in the hangout, you can see something. <coughs> why is the invisibility not a contradiction to finding yourself? Can I say something? Yes, I, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I'm just reading this because the self is invisible. Yes, but if it is invisible, then is it possible to find something which is invisible? We are looking for the self. And the pointer is, we are invisible. You see? And then, uh, Amba said, because you are yourself. <laughs> yes, but what does this mean? If I'm Janaka right now, Yes, yes. Yeah. But invisible, then how do I find, how do I realize this self? How do I realize myself? I cannot say. I, I feel like it's such a beautiful point, Trip, because yes. it completely knocks the mind out yes. of the park yes. right away. Yes. Like you just it's have very, to leave it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a very beautiful pointer because I say, please imagine something which is invisible. Can you do it? Space. Yeah? Can you imagine space? Only if you put a room around it. <laughs> you see, it is not part of the functioning of the mind. Even if you were to imagine space, you will imagine a dark space. You cannot imagine a colorless space. Imagine something which has no attributes. Can you do it? Actually, take a minute and do it. <laughs> you can. Something which has no attribute whatsoever. Can we think about it? Can we report something on it? So this invisible actually doesn't doesn't mean I don't know what the original Sanskrit was, but the invisible doesn't just mean invisible in that sense of you know the invisible man, but more in the sense of no attribute at all. You see? Because invisible could still mean that it has some weight, it has some mass. You see, here we are talking about that which has no attributes. You see? So yeah. As soon as you said invisible, what came to mind was it's it's not anything you're perceiving. Yes, exactly. exactly. On any any on any level, because that's so, really for me. I would say the as much as believing thoughts yeah. is also the just basically identifying with some vibration yeah. or sensation or yeah. something like that, yeah. which gives weight to the personhood, like the sense of personhood. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes, but the good thing is like Zia posted a quote today where she said that even with sensations, if they are just sensations, it is impossible to identify with them. You see? We must put a label, we must say that this is happening to me. There must be some at least subtle interpretation. You see? Because the witness of a sensation is not identified with the sensation. The sensations will still appear, but the identification is possible only. Identification itself means that I have a concept about the sensation. It is impossible to be conceptless about the sensation and yet be identified. You can then only be the witness actually. <laughs>